Please, I'm Dr. Son Young-mi of Igu Dental Clinic. This is the surgical case of the day. After removal of failed implant, because it was not viable to place implant immediately, bone graft was done in the same way as ARP. Let me show you the patient first. The patient has a bit of history. The patient came to me in 2014 with this kind of oral condition. There were very few teeth to save. And throughout 2014, the patient wanted treatment in the upper. With time, the patient felt the necessity to receive treatment in the lower so one guide was used to provide a full mouth restoration. Implants were placed. This case was introduced previously via online surgery. I'm not sure whether I mentioned this during that lecture, but upon follow-up in the upper left area among the two implants placed, peri-implantitis erupted in the mesial implant and the severity was over moderate. Therefore, the plan was to remove the implant. I'm going to show you how surgery was performed this time around. If you look at pre-op CT, because of a peri-implantitis, you can see that there is a total ridgelessness on the left side, and there's significant buccal bone loss. If you just remove the implant and wait for regeneration, then there will be issues with buccal bone regeneration. And upon re-implantation, it may require additional GBR. This time around, I'm going to show you how bone graft was done prior to implant placement. This is pre-op image. As you can see, the two implants were splinted. The contact was quite loose, and towards the buccal side, there was a lot of exudate. Let's look at the surgical clip first. Did you enjoy the surgical clip? There was nothing much special. After prosthesis removal, implant was removed. 
On the distal implant, healing abutment was connected and bone graft was performed where the mesial implant was. After prosthesis removal, as shown in number 25, there was quite a significant buccal defect. Also, there was no soft tissue support. If you look at adjacent gingiva, there was a slight inflammation as well. After implant removal, during which flap was reflected in a minimum way, collagen membrane was used after bone grafting. Suture was done and case was complete. This is post-op panoramic image and CT. Whether the membrane thickening of the sinus becomes resolved will be determined upon continuous follow-up. I believe that implant should be placed post of five months for this patient. I believe one guide should be used and flapless surgery should be performed. Did you enjoy the clip? After implant removal, when you plan for further treatment, you need to do planning ahead. Following the timetable, you need to proceed with a treatment. Thank you for watching online surgery. I'll come back with a more interesting case. Thank you.